Welcome to the another tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial, we are going to create a model. So I'm going to show the model which we are going to create. So first of all, we are we are going to create a new file. So hit on the file and click on uh, uh, hover a uh, mouse hover on the new and click on the general. When it uh, pop up an a uh, menu, you can see that save changes before closing. So we have not anything uh, in our scene, so we don't uh, save. Okay, click on that one thing. Yeah, we have a new environment in which just cube and camera and lighting. Okay, as before, as uh, default. Okay, so I'm going to press set A to select all and uh, X to delete. And one more thing, which uh, I always used uh, screen uh, keys to show that what I'm going to press so you can uh, see whatever. I'm going to press N to hide uh, this menu, T to hide this menu as well and I again press T to show up. Okay. So I have pressed 1 uh, from numpad key uh, to into the first menu. So first of all I'm going to bring up the um, uh, refresh image. Shift A, place a uh, press Shift A, and in, into the image and uh, reference. So get into the desktop, and uh, here is it. Here is the model, and lower the reference image. Okay. So this is our reference image. And we are going to create this little model. So I'm going to the move tool, and uh, we are going to move it a little bit here. Okay. So again, we adjust this uh, over here, I think so. This is good and fine, okay? Whatever we are, okay, this is fine. So from which order we need to clear this? Okay, first of all, you have to analyze the model that uh, what we can do from this. So first of all, we are going to clear this from the uh, cube, okay? So let's try it from the cube. Here is the cube model. Okay. I scale down a little bit from here and match it like this. Okay. And press um, A key into the edit menu and uh, wireframe from Z so that we can see or uh, see the cube. Okay. Again, press F1 and uh, Curl again, again. Have to scale down a little bit because we need a little bit curves from here to here. Like um, you can see this curvy uh, model a little bit. So that's why I'm using. Uh, uh, I'm scaling it down. Okay. So select these edges uh, only and a little bit like this. Actually, this model would be low poly model, so that's why it should be like that. Okay. Again, uh, control R to add the vertexes for me. And again, like this. Okay. Then select this area and E to extrude. Okay, like this. You can see like this as well. Okay. So then I'm in the front view, select these edges and then fill it over here, drag it, leave it. As we can see that in the solid view that uh, we are just creating a box like that. Okay. So I'm going to add a modifier on it. Okay. So in this, uh, we're going to call this modifier option modify properties and add a uh, solidify okay okay so oh no we need not solidify but we need sub deviation to check it how it looks like okay click on the sub deviation it looks like this so slowly and gradually it will be more meaningful model so just try to make it as possible as you can 
for now i'm going to hide this one thing click on this it will hide the everything so let's get into the model okay uh get into the uh, wireframe mode okay so by pressing z button and go and hover over the wireframe mode again i am going to press e to scale up okay like this and select this area like this map it like that press e again okay and the scale over and again press e so like this again hopefully we will create probably one cube whole area but for the hands and the for the for the feet uh, we will use uh, another another means uh, cube okay so for now i'm just uh creating from the one cube like this so just do it what i'm i am um, doing here okay okay great for now i'm going to press e like this and uh, over here and again i need to e to extrude like this again like this okay actually we need a little bit down over here because we need a little bit detailing it could be like again e to extrude Again, select this area. Again, select this and uh, over here. All good. So by doing this, we will achieve the general detailing over here. All good. Uh, actually, I'm going to press over here. Okay. Uh, we are going to add a uh, one more edge over here. Okay, it looks great okay so for now i'm going to select this area and again e to extrude from here okay and that uh, over here and e again to extrude over here and uh, over there i need to just okay 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 just do what am i doing way over here and you will get the results okay for this area we are going to edge the another edge because we need to exclude from here to the downwards okay so just select this area and press e to x put like this again e again e again e and again e and again e e to exclude again like this and uh in some detailing by by moving this these um vortices okay okay i can't see but i can imagine this thing that uh, how it can be smooth like this okay so just do it like this okay I think it's fine. I like this, like this, okay? So again, we need uh, more detailing over here. For this area, I'm going to select this area hole. And again, over here, we need to move this, okay? So I'm adding another one edge over here and uh, scale it. Uh, I mean move to up to the here. And again move here like this. I don't think so. We need like this, but um, uh, just I think we need to go like this. I think so. Let's try this. Uh, in this way okay for this area I'm going to select E to X for over here enter E there okay 
the can or uh, move it a little bit there. Well, yeah, okay. Air, we are going to add air and edge. Something like this. Actually, why I uh, did this because I am going going to extrude the, uh, this area. Okay, we am going to extrude at this portion. Okay, this portion. So for that, I am I am uh, done like that. Okay. So from here, I am going to E to extrude over here. Something like that. Okay. And E to X look like this for now. But uh, I'm going to edge some edges over here to make it uh, like that. Okay, so just follow the steps. What am I doing? Turn okay. We're not a little bit like this, so dear. Okay, we are going to edge in another edge uh, uh, here as well because uh, we need a little bit smooth, smooth mess, okay, like this. And um, select uh, this area, and uh, we need to add, add one more, I think, a couple of edges over here. Okay, like this. And uh, for this area, I think uh, we need like this, okay? Okay, great. It looks like uh, something which is painful. And here is the uh, the edges that we need to add some more detail by manually. And uh, doing this, I think it should be like this. Okay. So don't worry about this one thing. Actually, we need. Uh, we need some uh, manual edges for it as well. So, here's why it looks like that. Okay. So, we just uh, turn on that uh, modifier. Yes. Yes. It's not something. Okay. So, for that, we need um, edge over here as well. Because uh, we need uh, to be able like this area okay and uh, we are going to select this area as well well wait a minute Okay, by selecting two of these edges, uh, we need to make like this. I'm selecting the, uh, the uh, what is the name of that thing? Okay, edge. So, third or B to make it uh, like this. Uh, I think it's fine. But it looks a little bit wrong, okay? So, what I need to do is. Versus. 
Not well, so good. Then not the not well, then. We need a little bit more. It just went darkness. Okay, for this, uh, I need to take this. Okay, now our salon looks very nice. So what I need to do is to enable the modifier for now. Check it. That's fine, but it uh, will not will be marked as we need. Okay, so we are going to uh, actually we uh, exported uh, this. So now, for now, we are not need to exclude this thing. Okay, we will create this from those things. Okay, so just delete these things. Uh, what we are going to do is to select this thing next to delete. Again, select the vertices or. And adjust according to the model, reference model. Okay. Actually, in this image is a, is a reference. So what I need to do is to just uh, fill out the scape. Uh, so just select the edges. I am uh, just double clicked on one edge, and it will select automatically. Okay. Press F. But we don't need like that one thing, okay? So we need uh, to select these edges and press F, and it up, uh, it will automatically fill like that one thing, okay? Because we need uh, individual faces uh, so that we can adjust. We do not need uh, only one face as before. So there's why I'm doing like that manually by selecting and pressing F select of it. Okay, for now what I need to do is to in a front view and uh, just dragging and adjusting the model like that. So we need again the scale uh, and uh, move these edges. Actually, I'm moving, not scaling over here. Okay, like this. Or like this, okay? Um, actually, I need to add an edge over here. And another edge over there as well, so that we can adjust it manually. Okay, it's it's uh, fine now, but I need a little bit more adjustment over here. Again, okay, I am doing it very manually. Just select over here and again like this. Okay. So now it's uh, getting the shape and we need the model. So just adjust. Like this, okay? Like, like this. Okay, again, and adding edges or like this. And select this and over here. Again, add another niche over here and uh, move over there. Actually, here we can also need to move. Okay, uh, I think it's a little bit alright now. Okay, so now we are going, oh, great, it looks great, means. Wow. So again, uh, as we know that we need uh, further um, adjustment to like these areas. So, and further we will do that as well. Now, but I'm 
I have to do, what I need to do is push arrows like this, okay? It's fine now. I think we can add this to this area as well, but trying to do it. Not possible, I think so. Okay, it's fine now. Uh, again, we need to look at this. Okay, it's fine now. So, what we need to do is walk. We're just a little bit over here. Again, we actually we have a Kobe model over here because uh, we didn't edit anything like this. What I need to do is to. Okay, actually what I'm doing is I'm uh, just pebbling is these edges so like this actually I've selected this one thing and uh, control B press control B and uh, scroll uh, from mouse and it will add, add, add more edges okay so by doing this uh, it is not enough for us so leave it start right now and uh it's actually we are just following the reference event so that's why it's like that okay but uh for the reference image it's fine okay but we need a little bit more of and so uh for the deep fitness in this water okay so for that what i need to do is to set these uh faces from over here an edge board and again we need uh, to check it out at how it looks like okay so for that and Ryan to do is to uh actually I'm in our going up for I now top view and now uh, adding an edge inside it and in a wireframe wireframe and selecting half of the model and the faces actually I need um I need mirror on that okay so that's why I'm doing like that but for that uh, I what I need to do is to be the cursor is over here our move to lower hair this so for we need it uh over here okay whenever I'm going to add the mirror it will look like this okay you can be this uh, it's right. I think it's right now. But so we don't need means to register this. Uh, this uh, okay. It's it's uh, right. See that it's going to get rubber okay. And I click on the clipping. What does clipping do? Actually, when I click and this edges and this will be splintered edges. Okay. But when I click on uh, clipping it will not uh, do uh, meets uh, appear each other this uh, these edges of him so that's why I used uh, clipping okay so for now when I do the case from here it will automatically affect from over here okay so you can check it here okay for that what I need to do is like some of the edges from here vertexes from over here and uh, like that uh i'm going to add another one as well because uh, we need 
Mm, that's it with more detailing in it. For that, I am going to enable this and thing. Okay. I'm back to this as well. So that it can be a little bit fatty. You can see that some of the details like this or then. We can also add a little detailing from this side as well. Like this, so then we have to add the other edge. Yes. And then we're spying for now. For him. So, what I'm doing is I'm over here. So, it can be looks like that. The select and what that move the thing was accordingly like this, but it's not smooth, so I don't see. We'll leave it for now, but when we need in future, we will do that as well. Okay, for now, it's fine. Okay, just add this going to run here from over here as well actually it, it takes a little bit time where we're doing the things uh, in um in order to achieve the detail of it so that's why i'm doing like that so whenever you are going to create the other models you need to some of the manual work as well so that you can achieve the desire for the server. So, um, just doing these things. Okay, 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 great. We need a little bit more edges over here so that we can create um like this. Like this. Okay. We like this, okay?
Hơn, 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 hơn